We're in Office 365, and we're going to create a distribution list. A distribution list is used to add members to a group so they all receive emails to their email inbox uh, just by sending an email to one address. And this is going to be done from Office 365 rather than from Outlook itself. So let's go ahead and click on the admin icon. And when we do, we're going to get our admin center that we see here. Once we click on that, let's go down to the bottom icon on the left and choose Exchange under the Admin Centers. Once we click on that, we're going to get this new pop-up that shows up, and we're going to see Recipients on the left-hand side. We'll select that, and then we'll go to where it says Groups. So instead of creating a, a new Office 365 group, we're going to click on the drop-down list and choose to create a distribution group. Distribution group is a lot different than the Office 365 group because this is just an email list. It doesn't show up as a shared type of resource. So if someone sends an email, it goes to everybody in the list. It shows up in their inbox, and that's it. So let's go ahead and put in all staff as the name of our display, and we'll do the same thing for our alias. And we'll give it an email address of all staff. Let's go ahead and leave the notes blank. There's no real reason to put it in there. And we see that there's the owners of the group. Now we can add members. These are the people who are going to receive email into our group. Let's go ahead and add Jane and myself. And now we've got two people in our group. So we have some options for security, and the first option is open to anyone. So anyone can join this group without being approved by the group owner. So they can add themselves in right from Outlook or from Web Access. We could close the group and say they cannot be uh, added unless the group owners say it's OK. And we have owner approval as well. And we have choose whether the group is open to leave. So can anyone leave the group if they want to? Or is it closed only uh, if the owner says it's OK, can they get out of the group? Let's go ahead and choose open on both accounts and click Save. And we can see that the all staff distribution group has shown up. If we double click on the group and we get a lot of information such as the owners, the membership, we can see our two users, membership approval, all the different things that we chose in the wizard, along with some additional options as well. We can also add additional email addresses. Instead of all staff, we could do all underscore staff, just in case someone types it wrong. And we can add mail tips for anyone emailing this group. And we can delegate send as and send on behalf as well. And these are all things that were covered in previous videos. So when we're done, we'll go ahead and click Save. So now anytime someone sends an email to all staff, it will show up in the, uh, the inboxes of these two users. Let's go ahead and give that a test. Let's go into an, uh, our inbox, and let's go ahead and choose New. And we'll type in All Staff. And we can see it finds it right away when we type it in. And we'll just go ahead and put in our subject, Test. And we'll click Send. And there is our test. So it showed up right away when we sent it to all staff. So that's how we create a distribution list in Microsoft Office 365.